now we shall learn what are expression trees and what are predicates so first of all we shall start with expression trees here we go expression trees can be used to store expression in symbolic form so let us see this very traditional function int sum int a int b return a plus b if we compile this this gets compiled into binary but what are the various parts of this this one is part is called the parameters part this part is called the binary expression it is having two operands the left the right so if we see this from a separate angle then this entire code has various parts which can be stored separately one option with us traditionally was to compile it into one single unit the other option is to break it into various parts and store each part in a symbolic form and then assemble it back on demand so you understand the concept this is just breaking this whole function into smaller units and then put them all into a one box having different parts then this box is compiled on demand it is stored as one symbolic unit when the code is compiled this is symbolic unit is compiled but not the code in it the code in it will be compiled at run time this code is not compiled the internal code is not compiled which is held in symbolic form but the outer box is compiled so how is that done that is done by splitting this whole function into different objects you store this part in one object of class binary expression this binary expression is a type of this expression generally this this is called the body this is stored in a property called body and this whole thing is stored in expression tree the whole code is put into one box called expression tree this expression tree has a number of properties one property is body the other property this is one body the other property is parameters then one property is node type the node type in this case will be the delegate that can be used to describe this function the delegate if you remember would be something like this func int comma int comma int the node type for this expression tree will be func int 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 uh, sorry the node type will be will be lambda because it will be stored as a lambda the node type will be lambda but the type this is the third property fourth property is type the type is func int 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 this whole function is stored as one object of call of of uh, one object uh, as expression tree 
expression tree is actually denoted by a class called expression expression t where t will be the generic type and in this case the generic type will be func int 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 this piece of code is stored as an object of expression t and this is called an expression tree this expression tree has properties called body that holds this story it is represented by a property then node type is a property this is the whole lambda expression and fourth is type type is func int 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 inside body we have one binary expression this binary expression has further two parts left is parameter expression right is called a parameter expression and the node type of this is called add node type is actually an enumeration of about 45 constants which define various operations like add subtract arithmetic then even switch if else for example if this this code is having only one line suppose this had 20 lines if also else also while also do also then all those can be translated into various smaller 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 objects of various classes and when all those classes are combined together into one object of class expression t then this is called an expression tree expression tree is basically a collection of nodes these nodes represent statements inside a function if statement is one node switch operation of sum when these all are put together they combined are called expression tree so expression tree can be thought of as a struct expression tree it holds properties called body parameters node type and type body has further further additions for the switch type switch node type for if node type so that the whole code that is written inside body is packed into one property called body and parameters are packed into one a property called parameters this describes the overall node type whether it is a lambda or something else and type is the func delegate type you should remember that expression trees are never compiled code they hold code in symbolic form this code can be manipulated at run time for example this is an expression tree that has been built this obj is available at this step then a few step ahead depending on certain condition you can make alterations to the body property of this expression t object and then at some point we would like to compile it and then cause the execution so until the compilation point this is called a expression tree 
a code that is held in symbolic form. Now let us see how it is compiled. For compiling, so consider this expression tree. We have written expression. This is the type obj is equal to a comma b goes to a plus b. Now let us see how to compile this. We can compile it a few steps later. This this can be compiled by writing obj dot compile. Compile is a function that is available on the expression class, and then you can pass the arguments. And I can write here int z is equal to obj dot compile two six. So it is here that the code compilation occurs, and the result of z would be eight. Compile is the function that actually takes the whole expression t tree and puts it into one compiled unit, and whatever is the overall result that is presented into the return type. The next question is, what is the use of it? What is the use? That is one question which is of interest here. Let us see this. Supposing we are inside a C sharp a function, and we have to actually execute some code on the database. At this point, we would like to send the code to the SQL Server. SQL Server understands a string language called select star and all. It doesn't understand our C sharp language. So we are talking about link to SQL. Now inside the C sharp code, we start with an expression tree and write lst dot ls dot where angle bracket some lambda. This is one expression tree. It is not yet compiled, so we'll write ls dot, or maybe no, no, sorry, not ls dot, but put a further chain against it. ls dot where dot order by. We are actually chaining all the expression trees in uh, all the expression tree objects into one expression unit, which has not yet been compiled. This is one C sharp part. This is another C sharp part. We are chaining various expression trees into one big expression tree. Since these are all held in symbolic form, this is in symbolic form. This is in symbolic form. These are not put into executable code. This translation is actually done by a very complicated algorithm. that works behind the scenes but that's a very very complicated algorithm that algorithm actually translates our lambdas into expression trees and the sum result of all these expression trees together is translated into one string like select star whatever it is possible to translate them into a string because they are held in the form of symbolic language. A symbolic language is much more easier to translate into text. But on the other hand, if this had been compiled into zeros and ones and binaries, how would it be possible to read that binary and convert it into string? So that is why when you are using link all together you are basically building expression trees and finally when you call for each loop or when you cause the execution at that point these expression trees are actually translated into a string and this string is finally sent to the server so this is the basic use of your expression trees had expression trees not been there then this translation could not have been possible and link to SQL could not have been possible. By link to SQL we mean translation of the C sharp expression trees into a string that a SQL server can understand. So before closing this let us see what are predicates. 
predicates are lambda expressions that return true or false so for example if you write a lambda like this x goes to x more than 3 then this is this lambda expression is called a predicate so that is the only thing about predicates they are lambda expressions that evaluate to true or false so thanks we'll close it right now